Pretty much my life revolves around philanthropy. We really felt that it was important that you involve women in the giving decisions to support Ball State. We received $25,000 to fund development of a professional learning series. I thought it would be good to start looking into women's philanthropy and giving them an opportunity to be philanthropists in their own right. And there was a People magazine that had an article, and it, this, this article that was in People's Ma People magazine um, was actually what got this whole thing started. Discovery is an amazing group of women with Ball State ties. They are graduates, they are employees of the university, they are friends of the university. So faculty will apply for grants and Discovery meets as a membership every March and they vote on these amazing opportunities for students and faculty. I've applied multiple times for Discovery grants over the years for various projects. It's a grant that's meant to fund student immersive learning projects, faculty research, and you know projects that, that benefit Ball State University students in the community. I actually got a phone call from one of the one of our alums and uh, she contacted me and said hey are you aware of this grant I think the department should apply we have a, a major challenge in introducing students to what urban planning is so we had partnered with the uh, an organization called uh, Urban Land Institute they developed basically a game, it's a Lego set game, our efforts to try to get out into the high schools and begin to just expose and give them an idea of how they can have a voice, how they can have a comment, a future about where their community is going. And all because that Discovery Grant made that possible. Uh, when I found out that they gave grants to faculty, obviously I was very interested, so I immediately joined. I was so impressed with the quality of the students produced by this university that I wanted to be a part of. Having a voice directly and how the gifts are going to impact and what areas they're going to impact just feels really good. The Discovery Group is a wonderful group of women. And I think we have the opportunity to grow this organization. I think the camaraderie you develop and really the sense of pride in your alma mater grows exponentially when you get involved in this way. We want to be sure every female leader knows about Discovery and what collectively we can do for Ball State. What I love about the Discovery Foundation is all the money goes right back to the students, goes into the Muncie community in some way, shape, or form. The, the funding that is generated by Discovery Foundation is really meant to be supportive of student learning and supportive of initiatives that can jumpstart real change. So that's one of the privileges of being the member. You do have a say in who gets the grants. These are people who are supporting Ball State University who have given this money, absolutely. The group is more than just giving money. They really are passionate about Ball State. They're very passionate about having experiences for Ball State students. It is one of those real maybe hidden gems that we have at Ball State. It's important because there's no shortage of needs for new creative programming on campus. You get to say, I was a part of that. I want to continue being a member of this organization because I believe in it. I believe that there are wonderful projects that need funding and I want my dollars to go here. I say this all the time, I'm forever grateful to Discovery Foundation. Over our years, I think we've funded 52 proposals and have given over a million dollars in the almost 20 years that we've had Discovery.